It's autumn, baby. Pew, pew, pew. Wow, it's autumn. And autumn is my favorite season. Autumn has everything. Rain, cold. Why am I counting like this? Rain, cold. Coziness. Leaves. Because um, autumn is my favorite time of the year, I wanted to make it especially cozy by making a list of things I want to do this year, sticking to them and actually doing them. And I thought, I'm going to take you along. Um, I'm going to be that spooky girl living in a spooky world. I don't actually want to live in a spooky world. In a cozy world, doing her thing, living her best life. And I'm going to take you along. If you want to, come join me. Let's live our best lives. Join me, will ya? Come on, come on, come on. No, I said come on. Hello and welcome. This is Voice Over Yulia speaking and I will narrate all the clips I didn't speak in. Um, first, I wrote down all the things I wanted to do this autumn. So basically like a bucket list of things I was planning to do. I got this sticker sheet from Etsy um, for the spooky season. It's like witchy themed. So I just started doing this list and I kind of brainstormed everything I wanted to do. And I have to admit, I didn't manage to do all the things because life, work, work-life balance, baby. But I did most of it. So I wrote down things like a movie night, make a cozy drink, read in a cafe, which didn't happen because of the virus. Stargazing, I actually sadly didn't do that either because I live in a city and there are hardly any stars. Yeah, so I was just writing down everything I wanted to do. I was planning on having a great time, baby. I wanted to dress for the season, so I wrote down have autumn wardrobe, which I said is sexy with a winky smiley. I wrote down do a spell because it was spooky season. Be a witch, LOL, because I can't take anything seriously. First, I decided to have a cozy drink. I decided on 20% less sugar cocoa because I felt like I'm an adult and shouldn't eat that much or consume that much sugar, but who am I kidding? I still had a lot of chocolate afterwards, but this is my little montage of making hot cocoa. I filmed myself drinking, which was an odd experience to edit and also to film, but you had to see me consume the hot drink. Yep, yep. Yeah. Have an autumn wardrobe. This is a montage of funky clothes I wore throughout the season. This makes me laugh because why am I sexily on the bed? Yeah, this is me dancing in a Simpsons sweater. Oh yeah, baby. This is my oatmeal outfit. I don't know what the pose is. I don't know what the dancing is. This is where I kind of lose my mind. And bang my toe. <laughs> yeah, this outfit I hate. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was just living my life. This is me going outside, haha, <laughs> let's go. And I quite like this one, you know, Aaron sweater. And this is where I kind of looked like the man I want to date, you know. <laughs> then I had a cozy movie night. I had many, this was number one. We watched Frank and Weenie, which was pretty good. Then I went on a trip to see my friend. She lives in the north of Germany in Hamburg and I just went up to see her. She's um, someone I grew up with and we've known each other since we were maybe three. It's always very nice to see her, very comforting. This is the city, isn't it beautiful? The sun was shining, the tank is clean. Um, this is my friend, isn't she gorgeous? This is me in the wind. She's beautiful. We just went for a lot of walks, had a cups of coffee and cake and had a good time. The city's just so cool. 
We went to this comic exhibition because my friend's an illustrator and her comic was on display or her graphic novel and it was just so cool. She's so cool and creative. Later we had ramen and just had a good time, baby. We had veggie ramen and we're just living our best life. Then there was cozy movie night number two. We watched Enola Holmes and my friend said, they're not siblings. I don't know why she said it. The next day we went to a library and my friend showed me around. She showed me all the hot spots she likes to go to and what she likes to do. At this point we had mochis with ice cream in the middle and we were kind of delirious and losing our minds because they were so delicious but I don't really remember why we were laughing so much but it was a good time. This is a wholesome sequence of us making dinner in my friend's flat. Basically Louisa did all the work and I just stood to the side and cut a few tomatoes. <laughs> Um, she had this idea for this really crazy recipe and we kept having discussions all day whether it would be nice or not and in the end it was delicious. She was right and I was wrong. I was so wrong. But that's life, baby. Um, I feel like I'm filling this moment now with my shitty commentary. Maybe this moment would have been nice. Just, you know, a time to relax this would probably be the moment if you're lying in bed at night where you fall asleep. But because I'm talking, you're not. Then I wore a face mask that looked exactly like the painting behind me and I thought it was funny. The next day we went on a ship to South America. No, it's actually a museum ship, but it used to go to South America and I think it still goes some places now, but I can't remember where. It was basically a museum where you had an audio guide and got to look all around in the engine room where the cabin crewmates slept on deck. You could have a whole Titanic moment. It was beautiful. And the audio guide was kind of interactive and you could hear the sounds you would have heard on the ship back in the day. And it was a lot of fun. We basically just walked around it all day and explored. This is where the rich people would have stayed, you know high class rich people man they can afford this kind of shizzle and this is what the captain would have seen there Luisa was waving at the passers-by because she said they would wave back alas they did not this was me having my titanic moment then we went thrifting in all the cool thrift places I saw on tiktok I just want to be hip and young you know then we went to this hairdresser shop where you can buy all the things you can get at a hair salon. Interesting, interesting. This is just the city. We were looking for a cafe to rest and get some coffee and cake in. But it was so pretty just to see the city. We finally found a cafe. It was busy. And we had some cake. I had that cake that looks like the Ikea dime cake. I should have probably gotten something else, you know, diversify my cake experience, but here we are. It was pretty delicious. Then we had cozy movie night number three, where we watched this German fantasy series about a girl who can time travel and lives in London. It's kind of embarrassing, but we had a good time. And then I went back home. At home, I had cozy movie night number four with my brother. And we watched the new Rebecca movie, which I found okay, but I haven't read the book. And the critics said it is shit, <laughs> so I can't really base my opinion on anything. I had fun. I don't know. Next, we watched a classic, Hocus Pocus, a Halloween spooky staple. It was great. Beware, don't light the candle. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know what I mean. Then I went on an autumnal walk with my friend. We went to see the leaves. Yellow, green and red. It was all beautiful, man. We just walked around, talked about life, talked about emotions, had a coffee, had a good time. You could see all these people walking around. 
this hip couple here. Wow, look at the colors. It was so pretty. There was this water and there were swans and boats on it. And then we had a photo shoot because my friend had a stuffed animal capybara and we wanted to take a photo with it. Now the autumnal mood is here. Just vibes in my bedroom, you know. Today's the day I'm doing my spell. And I have this book, Be More Witch. I am... Um, Got it last year on Halloween because I was like, it's time to use my witchy powers. <laughs> but it's just so cute. Look at all the illustrations. So cute. Look at them. It's two friends on a broom witching around. Anyway, the thing I, the spell I'm going to do today says best perform on a Sunday. It's not Sunday. I'll just do it anyway. Is Lucky Stardust Candle. You will need a dab of olive oil associated with love and beauty, an orange or yellow candle to represent happiness, a pot of gold glitter. Step one, massage the olive oil into the wax of the candle. Number two, sprinkle the glitter evenly on some paper and roll the candle in it to give an even covering. Number three, light the wick and make the following wish. Pretty candles sparkling bright, casting rays of flickering light. Magic is in all I see, beauty found and beauty be. Let the candle burn down while giving thanks for all the blessings in your life. So I have an orange candle, but um, I can't really remove it from its container. I'll just do my version of it. I think it's about, it's more like the psychology of it, isn't it? Then, than like the products I'm using, right? Okay, so I have the goods. Um, I've got this Muji candle, it's orange. I've got this Italian olive oil from Italy itself. And I've got glitter for your eyes, but here it will be used for the candle. And I've got my journal for writing down what I'm grateful for. So again, step one, massage the olive oil into the wax of the candle. That feels natural to me, definitely. Oh, that was a satisfying sound, okay. This feels natural. Step two, sprinkle the glitter evenly on some paper and roll the candle in it to give an even covering. I'm just gonna put it right in. <laughs> Risky business, just a little. Oh, that's pretty. Oh man, that is pretty. Okay. Oh, it looks so nice. How can I show you? Also looks a bit moldy, I guess. <laughs> YOLO. Ooh, ah, uh, ain't that pretty. Light the wick and make the following wish, okay? Pretty candles sparkling bright, casting rays of flickering light. Magic is in all I see, beauty found and beauty be. Let the candle burn down while giving thanks for all the blessings in your life. So now I will write down what I'm grateful for. I'm so relaxed now. Can feel the luck rushing in, baby. Hello, everybody. I am ending this fall autumn video here. I hope you had um, a good time. <laughs> I didn't manage to do everything on the list, like reading a cafe because COVID, baby. But um. I had a good time making it 
I hope you had a fun time watching it and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Be yourself. Love you loads. Bye. <laughs>